that works. Okay, so uh, the disclaimer for this talk is uh, all software sucks, all hardware sucks, all meatware sucks, as I just demonstrated. I'm going to be talking about software failure modes today. I'm going to avoid other people's Perl stuff just to keep it civil and polite. I'm going to be avoiding web stuff because it's too easy. And Red Hat in the same vein. Um, oh. So, as you can see, I, I played with GPG for a client at a previous job, and we the client had a requirement that we keep their passphrases in memory. And there are some issues with that. Namely, if you use GPG with a different key, it erases the stored passphrase. Um, in a system communicating with refugees 1 and 2, guess what happens when you're running under Apache? Kaboom! Um, there's no real GPG library, there's two versions of the agents, and it's just a mess. I, I think uh, Mr. Sean Artak knows what he's talking about. <laughs> so yes, there's that. Um, this um, oddity of my SQL, I've actually seen this happen. There's an auto increment column in the, in the table. Uh, you create a row. The auto increment row is reused when you delete it and re-add it, which is really bizarre. I've actually seen this happen. And then there's, there's things like the car column truncating silently, which is fun. Um, people might know that I like FreeBSD just a little bit, but there is a bit of a dark history in the past where in uh, Sue broke on 5.2.1, which was supposed to be the stable release. It was <coughs> fun times. Very fun times. Uh, people might know that I like my Apple Kit too. There are some fun little things that I've, I've noticed that are broken, namely the T toolkit with regard to Perl. But uh, there's also, um, you can see other users' passwords online. Oops. Uh, Panix Transmit 4 likes the CPU. And lion ships have broken AB. These are just things that I'm coming up with off the top of my head. So, yes, fun times. Um, Ursi. Have anyone uh, used a Perl script in Ursi? Probably most people who use Ursi here. Did you know that it does string eval on the body of the script? Yep, fun times. And it does some other evilness with scoping and such. Yeah. Each chat. Each chat. Way to go. Yes, but then I need to rewrite the script that I need to offer on Magnet. <laughs> um, and then there's that, which... Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, and then there's me. Um, I suck, as you just saw. Um, sometimes I don't read the docs, sometimes I don't read them enough, sometimes I don't test my code, sometimes I'm not careful enough. Like testing this, for example, where I had a bit where I said sometimes I procrastinate, um, so evidently I did not test enough for this, um, but I like learning from my mistakes, because if I do that, then sometimes, hopefully, <coughs> I fail less, which is good. So help me learn from your mistakes, and I'll learn from yours and such. So that's really the summary here. Learning from mistakes is more important than making them, in my opinion, because then we can move on and suck less. Sucking less is good. Thank you.